Hi there, this is your guy, Turu Kano the Wise, EG, Turgon the Wise, coming at you with a new video today, and I owe you all an apology, because I'm late, and I'm sorry. Uh, I meant to post a video, what is it, today's Tuesday, I probably meant to post this thing about three or four days ago, but, um... I didn't, so <laughs> here we are, I'm, I'm making my one and a half week update video, and um, I'll try to be more on top of it for the next time, so my, my apologies for being a little bit late to the show, at any rate, here we are, this is my fifth season playing Lord of the Rings Rise to War, and this is my one and a half week update. So let's go to the map. To the map, to the map, to the map, map, map. And I'm going to talk you through what's going on. So you see some pins over here. You see some pins up there. You see some pins all over the place, right? Um, so there's been it's quite a contrast uh, to last season. Uh, last season, I billed as the greatest season of all time. And um, it was pretty epic, to be sure. But I think this season, in a lot of ways, is also really, really epic. And, and it's been um, fun so far. Uh, I hope that everyone around the server is, you know... It, 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 I don't want to say having fun, but at least, you know, getting some good fighting time in. Uh, I feel like, like, we have, like, four or five, maybe even six teams on this server that, you know, it, on any other server, it would probably be an easy server for them to just wipe. But here we are, we're all together now, and you can see the blue kingdom. This is Yudes. This is my kingdom. My team is the Yudes team. And shout out to Danny. Um, and then over here, we've got the God's Kingdom, the Burgundy. And on top here, we've got Salah. And the uh, neon green, or like olive green. We'll go with neon green, because I think olive green's an ugly color. And I don't want to put that on Ilil here. This is Ilil. Ilil, 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 Ilil. <laughs> Sorry. Help myself. Uh, and then this teal kingdom down here is Doby and Det. And for those of you who are not familiar with Det, they are uh, in some other seasons have gone by Bank. Um, ATME, all things Middle Earth. That's his team, is the Bank, Det in this case. Uh, and Doby uh, have formed a kingdom. And um, so. We have three solo kingdoms, well, four solo kingdoms, and then the, the the combo kingdom over here. There's another team down here. There's a couple of French teams. Uh, what is it? If I go to the page, uh, SPRT Sport is be, be one of them, and uh, uh, Avalon. I guess that's their group with Ilil or something. Uh, and then over here, there's this LCDR. That's one of the French teams that is uh, in cahoots with Sport. So those are the French teams. And then Ilil up uh, top. Uh, I believe they're a Russian team, predominantly. Although I'm sure at this point they're probably pretty international. Uh, so it's been pretty interesting. You can see there's a lot of pins all around the map. Um, we had a lot of, of interesting stuff happening early in the season. You can see this big pin here. 3.3 million between Doby and Ilil and Avalon. Uh over here and then over here we have uh this is down to 1.3 but this went as high as i think i think 3.3 million deaths the other day uh, between yudes and debt and there was uh, initially a scramble for um Karis, galadon uh over here um uh, so doby had came up here and debt came over here and we were kind of being pinched in a 2v1 and uh we were able to um to push through and, and get Karis. And now we're we're working on securing the lower half of our kingdom. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, nice. Just got kicked out of the game here. 
permission denied, please log in again. Okay. I am logging in again. Logging in again. Want to go back to the map so I can chit chat about stuff. That's my, um, I want to go back to the map to chit chat about stuff song. It's going to probably go double platinum in the next 10 seconds. So thanks for all your support. Just kidding. Come on. That song was terrible, guys. It's just taking a minute. I'm, I'm going to blame my potato computer on that. So uh, apologies. Let's see what's going on. I see, uh, I see someone's marching somewhere. Oh, we got an hour on a fort here. Oh. Maybe I can kill him. Let's see what happens. Is it will he st Oh, did I get him? I got him. You dead. Ha ha ha. Sorry, I didn't mean to catch you out there. Radiant Elf Queen. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful, beautiful name. Radiant Elf Queen. I like that. Anyway, uh, back to the map. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't resist the opportunity to uh, kill some eagles. Uh, at any rate, so uh, we, we fought over here. We're on our way. We're working towards um, securing Tar Lar and just securing the border of our kingdom here, our southern kingdom. Um, yeah, we're all the way out west. We have a long way to go to get to the ring, but we're pretty close here um, now that we've got Karis, which it was kind of a mad dash. If we hadn't gotten Karis, it would have been um, would have been tough. So we've got a lot of work to do, and uh, it's been fun so far. It was fun having that little 2v1. It was definitely a, a good early season test. And like I was saying earlier, this is a pretty stark contrast to last season where PvP didn't really happen for us at all until like, what, seven, ten days into the season? And here we are now. Today is Tuesday, so um, well, why don't I just consult, you know, instead of doing math in my head and wasting y'all's time, even more i'll just come over here and the game yeah so we began 11 days ago we're 11 days into the season one and a half weeks so that's pretty sweet and um yeah so i mean we the one thing about being out west is you certainly get just a ton of farm and uh it's 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 been good from that aspect and there's a lot of good teams on this server. We'll see what happens. I mean, we're going to... Ooh, we got some some hackers here. Goblin Gold is the leader of hack. Not going to lie. Don't like the guy. But let's not get into that. Uh, and this was a fun... I mean, underleveled. This is my B team here. And... Um, they're doing pretty good and not a lot of XP because of the level disparity. It's kind of disappointing, but I'll take the merits. I like merits. Merits are good. What's this? They take out one of my forts. Looks like they did. What a bunch of booty. And we're up here now. Where is this notification coming from? I guess it's the, the second one up here. Good time. So that's really what's going on around the server. That's my one week update all in all. You can see what's going on around the map. Like I said, from the map, we've got uh, four solo kingdoms between Yudes, Sela, Gods, and Ilil. We've got a couple of warbands uh, down here fighting uh, you know, in the, the flank of Ilil, and then Ilil is engaged with Doby and Debt over here. We're also moving to finish securing uh, this corner of, of our kingdom over here. 
Uh, and then from there, I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll kind of, you know, the thing that really like, um, you know, if I may comment drives me absolutely batshit crazy about what um, the developers have done. Uh, comparing this season to last is the new advent of when you want to build a fellowship fortress in enemy lands it takes 24 hours to complete that is asinine i don't know why they did that it's so stupid that we have to wait an entire day for this to be built and you can't take the keep unless you've got a fellowship fortress within range the 15 tile range of the keep it's it's not cool man it's it's really not i i don't know like i don't know why the developers thought this was a good idea um but uh, it's annoying it's annoying af so at any rate um just checking on my stamina levels here. They're looking pretty good. Got a lot of stuff going on. Got good resources per hour. We got the kingdom buff. Uh, life is good. Um, barracks are good. Let's let's check out some leaderboards here for you before we sign off. You know, in terms of production, it's not all Yudes leading the way. I mean, we've, we've got Bury Devil at number one, and then you've got Raven at number two, and Neaton. Uh, number three, so Yudes, Dobie, Gods, Yudes, Dobie, Yudes, Dobie, Gods, Det is number nine, Ogre's pretty strong, and then Odin is ten, shout out to Odin, my boy Stuff, I've known Stuff since season two, so, so we got one, two, three Gods players in the top ten, one, two, three, Three Yudes players in the top 10 and three Dobie players in the top 10. I would say that's pretty good, uh, you know, parody. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Debt might feel a little bit differently. <laughs> um, but I mean, when you look beyond the top 10 in production, you look at like 8, 9, and 10 and compare it to 11, 12, and 13, it's really not a huge gap there. So, like, all these players are right on the cusp. Uh, and, of course, they're all Yudes players. So, uh, maybe I should just stop. <laughs> Unaffiliated! So, uh, here's what the Warband uh, production looks like. Probably based upon the map. Um, I don't think anyone should be really particularly surprised by this. Uh, and then once you get past five, the disparity between five and six is, is pretty significant. So um, I'm not going to go into the contribution rankings. We looked at a couple reports. We looked at the map. We're having fun. It's a season. Um, not sure if we're going to have, you know, a 35-day battle pin in Undeeps. Um, if we do, I won't be mad, but it should be uh, should be pretty interesting season. So, looking forward to seeing how things play out, having a good time. Get, got some early season merits as opposed to you know last season where it was mostly PVE for the first seven to ten days. So nice contrast there. Um, you know, there's no chats being deleted, so that's always a, a plus. And uh, everyone, by and large, has been really pleasant to work with from a leadership perspective. A couple shout-outs. One to my boy, Arakano. Of course, Francis. And the whole leadership team on Yudes. You guys rock. Thanks for everything that you do. Yudes, great team. Really enjoy working and playing with you guys. It's a lot of fun. And also, you know, uh, ATME has been really nice. And uh, Jerdy, I don't know if I pronounced your name. I'm absolutely positive I just butchered your name, which I apologize. She's a very nice person. So, um, you know, want to throw a shout out to her. Uh, Bolg over with Ilil. Simon, you guys are, are top notch. So uh, I already shouted out stuff. And then good old Aries and Reese. 
and uh, Hazy over with Gods, good peeps. And, um, you know, the folks up in, up in the north with Sella have been pleasant to chat with as well. So all in all, so far, um, the thing that I like about this server the most is that, you know, it's a war game. There's some tensions, but nothing has really been, like, toxic or, or gross or anything like that. So um, I just want to thank everyone for making the server, um, you know, a nice, pleasant server. And uh, we'll see how everything continues going forward. We'll do another report out. You know, maybe another week or seven to nine days um, from today. And we'll see how the map continues to evolve. So um, best of luck to everyone, of course, on the server. Um, I'm trying to make it a habit to do that each and every time. Uh, also, you know, if you haven't uh, checked out my friend, Fellow of the Rings, go and check out his channel. Uh, good guy. He has great content. Talks about a lot of very, very uh, relevant and interesting content related to Lord of the Rings Rise to War and other games, too. So um, go check him out. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, leave me a like and a subscribe. If you have any comments, feedback, questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hope the rest of your week treats you well, and I'll see you next time. Turk on the Wise, signing off. Take care. Cheers.